Welcome to What About Rob, everybody. We have a. I'm back with Wolfgang Hunter. What's up? And we have a great guest today. Mike Racine is here, everybody. Mike, thanks for having me. Yeah. How you doing, man? How's your Ramadan complain. going? Yeah. Um, I, I guess it's good. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't yeah. know anything about Ramadan. Then I read a children's book about that it, it nice. yeah. at the store the other day. Nice. And uh, yeah, you know why they fast? Um, why? Why did they it's fast? To think about God, right? It's like because other people don't have any food. Oh yeah. So it's to remind. I thought it was just to connect That's with cool. God. Yeah. Islam is awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we've all yeah. been believing that it's bad our, our whole lives. Yeah. yeah. When you, you know? pray, you don't have to be running any freaking broad. You know what <laughs> yeah, I mean? Yeah, right. Just thinking about God the whole yeah. time, you know? Yeah. Yellow rice? Psh, sign me up, buddy. Shoes. Right. You don't need shoes. Girls can't yeah. drive. You get to hold your best friend's hand. Couches have plastic on it at your you grandma's do, right? house. Mm -hmm. It's great, yeah. Yeah. You That's get right. to kiss men on the cheek twice. It's very similar to uh, you Italians, You throw rocks actually. at your son if he disappoints you. Do you feel like if you started holding your friend's hand like as a joke, you wouldn't be able to stop doing Doing it. Yeah, you'd want to do it every so. time because yeah. you 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 would underestimate how much oxytocin yeah. it releases, and you're yeah. just like, well, this is I've pretty been, nice. Yeah, I've well, been doing yeah. that with like the Fortnite voice because it makes rules. it makes Hannah laugh when I do it to her. Uh -huh. So I've been up to, her, oh, I literally had such a crazy day at work, and I just started doing that on work on accident. It's like, is that gonna be all for you today? And this girl's like, what? I was like, um, nothing, uh, nothing. Yeah, it's called getting <laughs> lost in the bit. Yeah, dude. Now you like you uh, psyop op yourself that way. So yeah, I could easily see myself being gay through uh, a bit. <laughs> No, it's not gay. You're just holding hands with your best friend as All you right. walk down the street. Yeah. All right. You say friendship. I say pause. You yeah. know. <laughs> Agree to disagree. How you gonna be? You gonna be friends? I gonna be friends with a yo? You being brother. friends with a boy? Pause. Yo, nah, you saying you got nah, a boyfriend? Nah, pause. Hey, nah, it ain't like that, bro. It ain't like that, man. Chill. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, did Kyrie you, Irving's did, doing Ramadan, yeah, he and is. he was like. Uh, and he just hit this crazy shot, and he's like, I did all that on no food and no water. I was like, no water? Jesus That's fucking crazy, Christ. Yeah. yeah, there was a guy that worked at the moving company. He was from Senegal, and he just, like, wouldn't drink water. Yeah, I got a Senegalese chef. No water's like, crazy He, he wasn't me. drinking yeah. water. He wasn't, like, eating. He was... I used yeah. to um, I used to go to like yeah Persian restaurants like, working with food all day while you're fasting. You're like running up and downstairs and like you should drink some water. He's like I'm okay, man. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. Allah is going do, to be so fucking. Do you want this sofa yeah. to drop down the three floor walk up or do yeah, you want yeah. to get it at the top? Yeah, I'm only getting it up with Allah's grace. Allah will put the. Ass. He's the one who makes me believe in myself to move this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I used to go. I used to you go to like, sound like him. What's that? <laughs> you sounded like. Oh, him. thanks. Yeah. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. Robbie loves voices. I do. Yeah. Um, I he mean, was a cool just... guy, but we would always like butt heads for some reason. I don't know. We like our working styles didn't Interesting. match. Why? You can only see your Twitter right now. Know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sounds a lot like. Around. Sounds like a certain two countries. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sounds yeah. like a certain right. two countries. Did Benny read the Ramadan book? I'm like, hey, I think that we need to separate the company by by because <laughs> we don't work well together. He wraps everything. Yeah. He wraps chairs. Yeah, not I'll, necessary. I'll drive the truck. He sits in the back and makes sure nothing tips over. He's like, we've yeah. I've been doing it like this forever. This is how we do it. And yeah. you're like, mm, 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 no, actually, we're gonna. Yeah. You can have your own moving company. How about that? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I used to. Isn't it crazy? We know like nothing about Africa. I know a little bit. But I was yeah. actually reading about the yeah. worst. I took a West Isn't Egypt in class. Egypt's in Africa, right? It's in sure Africa. It's in North Africa. Yeah. So I was reading on is a Reddit thread of like the worst places to travel, and far and away, everyone hates Cairo. Everyone is just like everyone. It's gets... full of scammers because oh, yes. it's like all the negative aspects. Yeah. Of, well, like, Rami Yusuf is from there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, now I hate Cairo. Yeah, dude, he scammed me into fucking joining an. <laughs> yeah, he scammed me into that watching that Hulu show. A bunch of people <laughs> scam me into green lighting a mediocre sitcom <laughs> when I go to Cairo. <laughs> oh God. Look, I can't believe they made me like Arab Louie. He said it was just going to be Louie again, but 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 it just as good. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> That's okay. how you review that show. You go, this is a scam. <laughs> <laughs> Rami season three is a no, scam. No, no, no. Like, no, my friend, ten ten ninety nine a month, you get to watch a, a man uh, accept his cultural identity. You don't have to laugh. You don't have to laugh. He makes you think. It makes you think a slice of life. Yeah, it's about, yeah. is America a melting pot, or is it maybe better that we keep our own distinct identity? Here, hold my baby. I'm going to go green line it for you. I'm Thank going you. to go have sex with my cousin. Um, He's a friend of mine, but you ever have friends that like don't text you back like you know three or four times oh yeah he's talking about friends row. that have like I'm kind like, of made it yeah and then they're sort of just indifferent he's one of those guys yeah, that, go, all right it's fine i'm sure you're busy big time he's one of those guys who unfollowed but, me on twitter the second he got famous like oh, it's yeah. almost the second he got you're like, part of the calling <laughs> yeah the first the why calling. do they do that though who cares who you follow on twitter i don't know i think the same gene that makes you care about who you follow well, part makes of being you like an arab or yeah. an indian guy is like to have because like, tim dylan unfollowed me which like really yeah i'm like there's for some reason you probably there's probably oh, reason. Oh yeah, well, God. The, well, he's there's, very conservative. He unfollowed you recently? No, like years ago. Years well, ago? Oh, when he was, but you did. A, you, know. you do a show, and you're friends with him. Yeah. 
on Instagram That's or Twitter? Weird. On Twitter. Well, I, I saw, on I, Instagram, he, I, yeah. I survived. I survived. Well, mm. Tim is like a man that is like a. Is but there a must be some climbing. kind of like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You probably tweeted yeah, a, no, a political take. He was probably purging his. Yeah, follow, no, he's a social know? climbing gay guy. He sold default mortgages. I mean, yeah, no, he's yeah. just it's all business. But you've done his show and stuff. Aren't yeah. you guys friends? Yeah, sure. So how, why would he unfollow you? That's crazy. I, this was like years ago. Okay. Yeah, I hadn't talked to him for a few years. Gotcha. And then I saw him at Skankfest, and he was uh-huh. like, "Oh hey, hey, hey. hey. He like forgot oh, that we yeah. were friends. Oh yeah, we're friends. You really gotta yeah. stop uh, stand up for Palace. You gotta really go for winners. What? You wanna go you to? You gotta Denny's. stop supporting losers. I really wanna get out moons over my hammy. Uh, I'm gonna go to Nobu and spit on a waiter. Yeah, I'll do a uh, ten rolls, please. These are the best rolls in all of the city. I've been, to, I've been everywhere in Des Moines, Iowa. I've been to every single restaurant. And this place has the best sushi roll. I ate, I ate Des Moines, Iowa. It's in my stomach. I'm actually digesting it right now. I gotta go to GI doctor. He did that when I went to. Uh, it was actually great. He drove me around San Francisco. It was me and Sam Talon at the time. At the time, Sam wasn't mm. very famous yet, so it's not name dropping. I yeah, think. I can't mm-hmm. wait to see your quiet on set. <laughs> 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 Now Sam Talon, they should call that guy Sam Funny. Yeah, yeah. They he's should. very funny. They should yeah. call him Sam Funny. Really nice guy. I call him yeah. Sam. He did fine. Yeah, <laughs> Sam. He's good on podcasts. I did like his book. And no, I like Sam. Sam's great. Very nice guy. Yeah, almost made me want to relapse on coke. Yeah, uh, but Tim knew more about the local San Francisco restaurants than I did. Like he knew way more. He's places. a gor- he's a gourmand, dude. Yeah, he Joe Gourmand. Joe Gourmand. No, we're not. <laughs> this is this is the we can do that on Patreon. Is that like an inside joke? He's that's just like Robbie joke. will reference a, yeah. a person that only we know. Sure. People know who sure. Joe Gorman is who watch this show. Well, people that watch this show, but we're trying to expand. Well, Robbie the Robbie loves comedy. Yeah, yeah. Robbie Robbie's does. A, a real Love fan him. of yeah. like uh, but like this scene. I'm an enemy of comedy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, I, uh, yeah, yeah, very. I used to be before they all. Interest. Yeah, was that? Yeah. yeah, I said you have like a geo pin on what comedy you like. It's like you have to keep it with. <laughs> I used to be. I think I'm kind of more. I'm less like that these days, though. Um, yeah. Yeah. When I first got here, though, I was like, "Ooh, come town! Oh my god, all that stuff!" You know. And now I'm just kind of like, yeah. You know, uh, <laughs> emotionally abused by Louis J. Gomez, so I'm just like less like yeah. fanboyish. Uh, I think. I hope, but. There's still probably some of that on me, you know? Yeah, you're in the dark side of the ring now, pal. Yeah, exactly. Welcome. Did you watch that Dan Schneider thing? No, I didn't. I didn't get a chance to. I don't watch anything. You don't even get the clips on no. TikTok? So I like watched Drake Puss Bell. in Boots, The Last Wish. Nice. That was actually pretty good, though. You <laughs> yeah. know what? Very that was not stuff. bad. Yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen the beginning of that movie like 30 times. Yeah. We don't yeah. make it to the end. I forget now that you have but like a son. It the, is like you have like a, a, a significant portion of like baby media like yeah. polluting your brain. Hey, that's the only yeah, puss yeah. I'm getting these days. That was a good movie, but like I'm sure like you have to watch a lot of Coco Melon and stuff. Um... Not really. I tr- I kind of I try to guide what we watch in the house. So we watch like a good amount of Ninja Turtles. Nice. Um, Sick. Yeah. Some some wrestling. Some Stone Cold. Steve Austin. Yeah. Like yeah my dad Cold. would. Do, he would just put on like fucking sixty minutes or like a really old movie. <laughs> like, <laughs> sixty he'd minutes. Put on like twenty eight days later one time when I was like five. And we're like, uh-huh. here's a zombie movie. We're gonna watch this. And, uh-huh. and <laughs> that is such a me. violent movie. Yeah, dude. The guy gets his eyes thumbed out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that movie is like traumatizing. I watched it in COVID and it scared me <laughs> as an adult man. Did he watch Andy Rooney? Yeah, yeah. yeah we still yeah. watch. What, what's Andy with Rooney? all the what's with, what's with the the Same. black people these days? <laughs> Actually, Tim Dillon's just like racist Andy Rooney when you think about it. Like, I noticed something. Ever well, think he about... did get in trouble for saying something racist, and I asked my grandfather about. It. I'm like, that guy you like? I heard he's racist. Really? And my grandfather was like. Yeah, he might not like blacks, but he's an old man. <laughs> yeah. He likes pancakes, you know. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. That's great that I he just got that gig. Diner. What a great gig to get! Just yeah. like, hey, I'm just gonna complain at the end of every sixty minutes. You episode. ever notice how the movie theaters Nobody's are changing? Doing that Handkerchiefs <laughs> aren't soft anymore. I, I, I literally think it's Tim Dillon. I think it's like yeah. the same kind of bit. I went to the Joker movie. I was surprised at the <laughs> black people in the theater. That's sort of our Black Panther. What's with all the violence? Not on the movie. In the theater, um, I saw though on your Instagram story your uh, your gun pointed or your son pointed a gun at Adam Friedland. How that did you feel proud yeah. as a father in that moment? Um, yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah, I thought it was pretty sick too. My yeah. girlfriend sent it to me. I was like, dude, that's so nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just like his dear old dad, huh? Yeah. yeah. Well, there's a part of me that's like, you can't, you have to stay out of show business. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, don't like, like, you don't want any part of this. Yeah. And there's another part of me that's like, what if I started molding him now right. to be, be the greatest, the greatest entertainer. Comedian, yeah. You know, yeah. all the yeah. famous or whatever people. kind of entertainer yeah. that he wants to, you know? Yeah. I mean, but you can also because be you a, need just... your you need your dad to like make the mistakes. 
so that you can not make them. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. All sure. the great actors do that too. Were, uh, yeah. Child, yeah. yeah. We're all like a uh, child actors. Were they? Yeah. Almost. Kurt, if you look, Kurt uh, Russell was a child actor. Almost yeah. every famous person go to their IMDb. They all had like chi- uh, kid, uh, kid yeah. roles and stuff. Okay. Yeah, no, Justin Timberlake nice. was in the fucking Nick Mouse Club. You got it. You got it. You were on Funny Moms. Yeah, next Robert week, De Niro so. is one of the little rascals. <laughs> oh, he was. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's one. me. It's me. Uh, the fucking cowlick kid. I forget the name, but that's who I am. A little bit. Little rascals. Little rascals. Go home and get your fucking check. I think he doesn't say that. <laughs> oh, we're little rascals. What to do so box derby? Okay, we're gonna do the derby. We're gonna do the derby. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Keep the meter running. Keep the meter running. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, yeah, yeah, what's he What's he into? Is he into sports or is he or anything like mm. that? Or? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. But, he, you know, he goes through phases. Yeah, mm. kids are kind right of like it's... into all, everything for a while until. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, until they pick and choose. Yeah. yeah. Well, right now, it's well, nin- did you guys have a favorite Ninja Turtle? Absolutely, yeah. I never was a Ninja Turtle guy, really. Were you, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess, Raphael? Um, yeah, he ended up being my favorite. <laughs> I my like favorite Michael, is David I Angelo. I fluctuated as I got older. Well, <laughs> my fa- David Angelo David instead of Michelangelo. Oh, uh, <laughs> okay. That's it, referencing another guy we don't know. Bobby, <laughs> yeah. come on. What's up, David? <laughs> Hope you're watching this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I liked Michelangelo. And I liked Raphael. I think this only is actually a pa- four people just went. I think I know who that is. <laughs> Not even. <laughs> 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 Only David and maybe Andy Haynes if he, if he cares to watch this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think the only time people like tune into this is when we have a girl with like giant boobs. Yeah. <laughs> and then they try to figure out what she likes and mm. so they can DM her later. Who who have you had on? Uh Meg Bitchell so far. That oh, got a lot, yeah, like a lot of views, which yeah, is very funny. Was good. Considering yeah. how little she appeared to be <laughs> to enjoy doing the show. Now she's a friend. Shout out Megan. Friend of the show. Um. Yeah. So, are you enjoying life being a dad, or is it like uh, I went over to your place? It, it was it was pretty fun. You know, there's like toys and shit everywhere. Yeah. It's like a little basketball hoop. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Sometimes I wish my both my wife and kid would would shut the fuck up. Yeah. 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 I feel that. I feel Sometimes that I want to go. Can you both shut wife. the fuck up? Yeah. <laughs> with your wife. <laughs> yeah, with my wife. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, for the, for the most part, it's good. We might be going through a hard phase right now. You go through why, you know, cause it, uh, cause it's like he, he doesn't understand anything. He doesn't understand why he can't do stuff. Yeah. You know, when you're, when it's a, when it's a baby, you just pick him up and yeah. put him. you do whatever you want. Sure. Sometimes Tell I'll be like, no do. more YouTube. And he'll be like, I said, yes, YouTube. Oh, yeah. oh no. No respect. No, yeah. res- no yeah. respect. And then you wish I, what would be nice is <laughs> if my wife could back me up a little bit. Oh really? That's, That'd be nice. You so can't she, be a divided she front. Crumbles? Yeah. yeah. Uh not crumbles, but like if I if I get upset, she's like like he threw a tennis ball at my testicles like full force the other day. Like so bad and I get I get hit in the testicles like three times to- three you or four times a week. Next, <laughs> you are molding the next comedy genius. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you know, know what? Is, right. He's gonna be the guy that brings nut shots back into comedy. He's like he's getting noticeably he's absent. Getting, he wins he wins a golden globe with that. He's like, yeah. and I want to thank my dad. My dad's testicles don't work. Yeah, because no. <laughs> he wanted to have a second kid. You're in a wheelchair. No. You're like waving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I did it all for you. They have you like in an FDR blanket. They have to like take you around through tunnels. So they have to amputate me from the waist. Dad I'd like thank you for sacrificing your globe so I could win my globe. <laughs> yeah, he just destroyed my yeah. my balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I, yeah, I Bert Kreischer him. takes him on the road. Like I love that ball uh, hitting thing that you do. Oh, yeah, <laughs> One time he hit my balls. It was great. Um, yeah, but yeah, I, that's I, that, yeah. You gotta you gotta maybe lay the law down. You, do you hit your kids and all or? Little hit spanking, him? like a spanking, like not like actually hit. No, because like once you do it, you it's, know it's like then you're the guy who hits his kid. kid. Yeah, and yeah. you never, you ever like worry? Here's what I'd be worried about if I had a kid. What I'm about just like, like if you like duct taped him to a wall really firmly, so he just stayed up there until like you know, like in timeout, but like a cocoon in timeout. Do your mm. parents ever do that? They put you in cocoon time. Did you? Did yours? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. Yeah, I love when Wolfgang betrays a deep, dark trauma that he's had. No. Yeah, you're like, didn't we all watch fucking Twenty Eight Later, Twenty Eight Days Later, and Deep Throat when we were kids? Yeah. Um, all right, well, you're living that one in. But I'm always uh, some liberties there, pal. Liberty, liberty, yeah. liberty. You're gonna make me sound gay during Ramadan. <laughs> you're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's uh, a Muslim guy being like, "It's my month." It's, come on, <laughs> yeah, it's like 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 a white woman. Like a white woman's <laughs> birthday. It's like, this is my this is my time. Come on, you're going to treat me like this during God's birthday month. It is Persian New Year today. Happy Happy <laughs> Nowruz, everybody. 
Happy, so, uh, happy, happy Ramadan. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I told this on the Patreon, but Lewis, I did Rail's podcast today, and Lewis was fasting. I was like, oh, for Ramadan? And he's like, what the hell is Ramadan? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you expect him to be? I would think that he's like had, had sex with enough Jewish comedian women that like love Zionism that he would have learned something about Islam through right. hating it. Right, because right, right. He, he, you know, like girls will like yeah. a thing like a a guy likes to get on their side, but guys will start hating a thing a girl hates so they can get more pussy. Mm. Yeah, like Donald Trump. Yeah, or like a, a another girl, that another never, girl, another like woman you've never seen before, oh, right? But you've a heard coworker things. or like yeah. a colleague or, or something. a comedian yeah. who's funny. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, I can't take. You're that. right, honey. He I, was I, not. I didn't laugh at all. I that can was never shed my arbitrator <laughs> impulse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm always like trying to be like, well, do you think maybe like the way you did this came off a little rude too? And uh-huh. she's like, you never have my side. Like, yeah, I'm just trying to be fair. To and meanwhile, they never have your back. You know, it's like it's very much expected to like. Oh, uh, dude, Hannah got so mad at me the other day. <laughs> what happened? I was, uh, somebody like made like a reference to like the slogan outside of like uh, Auschwitz because I, I was like just complaining about my job and it was like this Jewish comic was like, well, you know, work will set you free. And she's like, that it will. I'm like, Hannah, you know, it's like a Nazi thing. It's like, don't ever let anybody know I don't know anything about World War II. <laughs> she like got really mad at me. She like, no, she doesn't have any idea who's like fought ever in World War II. She's like, we do have to secure a future for our white children. <laughs> you're like, honey, get over here. Yeah. I Meanwhile, like, brings I up don't... Winston Churchill. She starts sweating. <laughs> <laughs> I hate him too. Is that a brunch place? <laughs> <laughs> Is that like sweet green, maybe? <laughs> Meanwhile, I won't like know Chamberlain. Yeah, I love uh, 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 well, uh, Ch- uh, uh, Neville Chamberlain. Yeah, he's a great basketball player. I loved him. He's a horrible prime minister, babe. What are you talking about? Uh, I guess that's fine though, because why do you need to learn about World War Two? She doesn't. If you're a pretty yeah. woman, you don't need to wear your little head it's about. Also, yeah. Yeah. Why do you need to know what's about the, history? What's the take? away from world war ii uh japanese people are mean mean. yeah uh (laughs) firebombing german people is actually worse than nuking japanese people yeah people take Uh, a lot of different things away from world war ii i'll say that's why nobody should study it (laughs) some people took like prize possessions from houses they raided you know we all took a lot of things Mm -hmm. we took some scientists over here but no Mm -hmm. she'll make fun of me when like i don't know a girl thing to her friends yeah oh like like like, uh, i wasn't even making fun of her i was just like hey just so you know, like maybe I could have waited till later, but it's like you people will think you're being really anti-Semitic if you do that. <laughs> do what? Just do like the work will set you free thing. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not like a fun. Cute That's true. Thing. Their version of history is just reality TV lore. Like, oh, yeah, and dude. Se- okay, so in season if Hitler two, Hitler was on House Real Housewives. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If Hitler was on know Hitler, everything, she, she didn't know every angle. She'd be like, "Look, it's because deep down he wanted to be an artist." And yeah, they <laughs> booted him from Real Housewives. So he went to Summer House, and then he came back <laughs> through Austria into Germany and started taking over Poland. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you know about this? You don't care about me because that's why you don't know about this. Yeah. What is your What is your uh, wife? Watch like? us with me, babe. Does it's she like, like uh, Ken Burns. What is she like? Yeah. What is she like? My girl's like on big on reality TV and like going on walks and stuff. Going on walks. Yeah. Those are two. two um, that's two, nice. Two those interests. are both very nice, though. Those and are. There's good. a lot more stuff I should know, but mm-hmm. for the sake of brevity, I'm not going to try to remember them on a podcast. Mm-hmm. They call this like hot girl walks or something. Yeah, she has hot is girl that... walks, but she, um, yeah, she like. I don't know. They say depressed girl walks too. Oh, okay. Like depressed girls like to walk a lot. Okay. She just likes getting up in the morning. She's an early riser, and I'm like a stay up all night guy. So. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Damn girls, girls be getting up early. Bro, that's how they. That's how they're gonna run this country, man. They Gr- get up earlier than the rest of us. Girls be leaving the house too. I love staying in the house and not doing anything. <laughs> yeah, know. my wife's alarm does go off at seven forty-five every Ooh. morning, and I don't know why. Because we can wake up, up at it. eight. Yeah. Uh, sometimes, but no, not really. Oh, okay. Just, she's got an alarm that goes off at seven forty-five, and I go, let's let's do eight fifteen. <laughs> yeah. Come know? on. Yeah. Girls like setting those like pre alarms though, like the mm, alarm. I do that like, too. Mm-hmm. I do that because you get anxious about it going off in time, so oh, you want to okay. make sure you're up a little yeah. bit before. Okay. No, we have girl brain things. as we've uh, get, uh, as we previously discussed. I'll just get fired from a job. <laughs> I'll just sleep through the work alarm, and it would be like twelve in the afternoon. I was supposed to be in at nine. It's like, well, I guess got to go find a new job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, to but today, this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got I I like no showed at a job one time and they and I like knew that I did it because I read the schedule wrong and I thought I was like off Tuesday and working Wednesday mm-hmm. so I like didn't show I was off Wednesday and then I like went in and I said like hey I'm really sorry I didn't come in and they go oh, okay the GM probably wants to talk to you so I like went home and then came back the next day to get fired that's hilarious yeah yeah you should have stormed off I, but I I thought maybe they weren't gonna fire me but it was like a terrible job anyway. 
But did um, you also remind them? It sounds like you reminded them to fire you. <laughs> it sounds like, like oh yeah. yeah, shit, yeah. fuck. Like, all right, you, I guess you're yeah. fired. The adult now. equivalent of like a uh, teacher in the homework. Yeah, yeah, because they're like, like oh fuck, we forgot to schedule a meeting where we yeah. fire you. Uh, yeah. Can you come back tomorrow? Yeah, that's awesome, man. Yeah, I had a guy when I was in college. He, I, he was like the manager that they hired after the old one left, and like I guess they just didn't want to have like a guy that I was in school, so I was only on like three days a week, and they didn't want to have like a part time like runner busser. Mm-hmm. And he made me like pour him a drink, and he's like, "Yeah, hey, can you get me like a, like a whiskey from the shelf?" I was like, "Sure," and like I poured it for him. He's like, "Oh, by the Why? way," because he was like nervous to to fire you. No, I think he's he just like a pa- he was like a short guy, so I think it's like a power move. He's mm-hmm. like a tall, tiny guy, but he's like, "By the way, you're fired." And mm-hmm. I was like, "All right." Whoa, mm-hmm. Don Draper. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. I guess so. I, That's you- funny because my brother-in-law is is a he was like a restaurant manager for a little bit, but he's like. He's like the the most like insecure um guy from Staten Island. Yeah. Like he wears like rings and and <laughs> nice like, watches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he like has no money. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> he spent all of his money on every ring on his <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah, exactly. finger. Is your yeah. brother in law Dan yeah, Wicks? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey Mike. Uh, <laughs> hey Mike. You want to come to Staten Island? No, not, they're not okay. Infinity Stones. <laughs> Mike, I'm trying to have sex with your, your sister. Yeah. You Mike. know how to make your sister put out a little more. She's hey. kind of mad at me because I. <laughs> I said I didn't like the new Lena Dunham show. Mike, uh, can I have five bucks? Got to buy some pink hair dye. This is great. Are you guys gonna clip that? The, yeah, the, I yeah, think Dan Wicks, like. <laughs> Dan <laughs> Wicks and his rings, <laughs> and David Angelo. I think those yeah. are two clips. That that's makes like. me. It makes me so fucking mad because people do that. I've seen that in our scene where people were like. <laughs> Put an inside bit. I love up, it, and it drives me up a fucking wall. No, it gives me life. Oh, That's not what it? those are for. They're for like two schizophrenic guys that are very <laughs> yeah. active in the comment section. It's for them. It's not yeah, for yeah, fucking yeah. random people on the internet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because yeah. then they do that, and then they just go like, "Oh, the state of comedy is just so bad right now. You can't move any right. seconds on the road." That's just very. Mm-hmm. I'm doing a very obvious impression. Yeah. Then we, <laughs> we and then and then we clip about. our James Pontillo riff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like this is gonna be a hit on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's just, yeah, it drives me up the wall, dude. <laughs> it is funny to clip it. I almost might clip it as a bit now and just t- and then add them as you collaborators. Clip Robbie, if you do that, I will impression. delete our channel. <laughs> Make the thumbnail. Like, put like 12 hours into the we thumbnail. Just gotta... <laughs> I'm going to start just having, I'm going to quit the show. I'm going to just have you guys AI generate me into every episode. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, that's actually really tickling me. I might have to do that. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna clip and then add everyone we talked about as collaborators. An AI Wolfgang. An AI like. Wolfgang, in, yeah. Oh wow, he's the perfect uh, the per- the perfect crime. <laughs> hey, uh, with the braids. What other comics do you guys want to reference? Uh, um, hmm, Fatty Arbuckle. He was innocent. Was he? That's what they say. What happened? He like sat on a woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He she, was like she, Lenny she from a Mice and Men. She turned no, a that's woman what I heard into a pancake. Happened. Yeah. No, he, he got falsely accused. Yeah. Well, well that's what they say. It's like a gray. They don't yeah, know. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, but there's only like one reporter back then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just had to buy him dinner, <laughs> and he would write a. Hey there, pal. Let me tell you. Yeah. How about we go down to the old, <laughs> the old malt shop and smooth all this over? Yeah, yeah. No, he got a egg sandwich. He went on trial and got found innocent, but his like uh, career never recovered. Mm-hmm. I guess because they said he like raped and killed somebody. Yeah, Jeez, but a... nobody says that for no reason. Yeah, that's know? true. And yeah, unless you were black back then. Well, yeah. the, the song "It Wasn't Me" wasn't. Yeah, out then, so <laughs> yeah. It couldn't have been like. Who, who sang that again? Shaggy. Shaggy. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be funny if like what he actually did was just told some like like a girl comic she had a bad set. Uh-huh. He was just honest about the comedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And right. She's like, yeah, he raped and sat. Like, he's like, your act is very derivative. Well, also, some things never change. He also some murdered me. The same. He also yeah. took my life. He's like, how are you giving? Can I give you a tag for that? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, you don't have to talk. He raped and murdered me. <laughs> you don't he have- asked me if I wanted to write with him. We all know what that means. Do you want to like riff out something that's not about dating? How dare you? <laughs> That's illegal. He told me I'm not ready to headline two months in. <laughs> That's rape. <laughs> That's rape right there, pal. The Zhao Ying summer. He trial. advised me not to take an agent a year into comedy. Uh, but yeah, I guess uh, I don't. Yeah, I guess I don't know the full story. But I remember in film class, I read that he, that a lot of people think with time mm-hmm. he was falsely accused or at least oh, yeah. exonerated. To be honest, I don't even know who you're talking who, about. But- but he was like an old twenties film star. Like oh. he was like he was like it was like Charlie Chaplin, then Fatty Arbuckle. Wow. And uh, Buster. Meanwhile, Charlie Chaplin out here marrying thirteen year olds never canceled. Yeah. But uh, a different time. but is he? It literally but was. If, but he then he might be the only person to be falsely accused ever. Like who else has been falsely accused? Uh, Donald John Trump. 
Right. Uh, sure. Sure. No, I don't know. Louis, I, I mean, I don't mind. Um, who's, who's, who's falsely accused? Uh, I don't know. I don't know who's been like every falsely basically accused. Basically people I like and yeah. I want to still yeah. continue to like them. People whose, people whose comedy is good were all falsely accused and people's comedy were bad were all, right. you know, I believe women. Right. Yeah. Um, you do get a hot OJ though. Like hot people don't really get canceled for some of the stuff ugly people do. I guess yeah. yeah. But it did, no, but they, but uh, no, like Franco, it took, Ar- it took like got, Army Hammer being a cannibal. Well, yeah, he got true. old. Franco got old, and his brother like got hotter than him, so he's deposed. Garrison Johnny Keeler Jeff got ugly. Garrison Keeler c- caught a bad one. All he did was like put he his, just like massaged a girl. Yeah, right? he like put his hand on a thigh or something, which is very funny that he did that. But yeah. he, he like lost his career he over lost it. Or shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. like, let me tell you a story. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're like, oh fuck. Get the fuck. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It was also like back the girl's then. eyes turned to dollar signs when he did that. <laughs> ching Oh, I'm gonna get that NPR money. Oh, all. Uh, like, I, but it was like also back in like the, like Emmett Till and shit. Back when like people like just did that to like fuck with people. Mm. Not to compare Fatty Arbuckle oh, to Emmett bro. Till. But... White women been lying on brothers' names for ages. Now. Mm. Pause. Pause. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's. I mean, I think in just like. Several. Yeah, I guess like uh, I mean, I don't uh, anyone famous who I don't know if anyone's famous has gotten like Neil well, deGrasse Tyson. I maybe? remember like one time in North Carolina, I was like when I was this was like when I was nineteen, I would just like get like really drunk and like mean to people that were bad at comedy, and sometimes mm-hmm. those guys ended up being a lot of girls. It was just basic. It was off uh, virtue of if you were bad at comedy and you were also mean to people and like acted like you were good. Like mm-hmm. people come up to me and be like, "You really shouldn't make jokes like that." I'm like, "You fucking stink. Shut up," mm-hmm. or whatever. Neil the grab ass Tyson. Neil yeah. the grab ass Tyson. There you go. There we go. It's a banger. Clip it. <laughs> your ass is huge. Your, this yeah, this golf ball is your ass. This golf this, ball is your ass. And this beach ball is my erection. <laughs> well, as you can tell, the gravitational pull of my hand is to your ass right now. That doesn't make any sense, Neil. Yeah. Neil, I, you're actually. T- Neil, when you get horny, your science goes wrong. Yeah. Well, actually, when you have sex, it can't be raped because sex is a biological function. Yeah, actually, uh, all women deep There's down actually want to be raped. Mother if you nature. think about it, uh, it's actually uh, if you look at the animals in biology, yeah. many of them are raped in Mother Nature. Neil, I don't care. Please get out of my room. If you actually divide your ABV by the speed of the car that you were traveling in, uh, you don't get a DUI. It's lower than one. <laughs> he did that with Dune again, where he like fact checked the movie. Yeah, he really. I love that he's still up to that gimmick. Police. Yeah, it's it's weird. He does. Yeah, the, who enjoys? Who's entertained by he's that? He's the liberal version of like grammar Nazis with trans people. You know, where like right. it's really they're just trying to be obstinate to make some weird point rather mm-hmm. than just. Just be chill. Well, rage baiting. Yeah. Right. Uh, but it's yeah. also like, th- I feel like it's for eighth graders. So I feel like I like that stuff in eighth grade. Oh, yeah. Maybe. I don't know. But there's also like that YouTube thing called Cinema Sins. It drives me up a wall, too, where it's just like, let me yeah. take a movie. Yeah. And, and here's another way that this doesn't make sense. And here's another way that this doesn't make sense. Like, pl- first yeah. of all, in my opinion, plot is for retards. Yeah. It's all about the mood and characters and, and that stuff. And explosions. If you're just, if, if your entire critical uh, opinion of a movie is, well, that doesn't make sense if it happened in real life. It's like, yeah. yeah, it's a fucking movie. I'm watching Batman. Yeah, I know. It's, I know it wouldn't fucking happen. You know? Yeah, that's true. But let me let me wrap up the thing that I was. Yeah, yeah, sorry. You should do like that I with like Sex in the City and be like, actually, women can't take that many. <laughs> actually, <laughs> take that many. Dicks. Actually, a guy that hot would not settle uh, for a woman like that. Actually, statistically speaking, a woman having that much unprotected sex would have died of HIV during that time period in New York. You're telling me a blogger afforded that apartment? <laughs> You're telling me a blonde woman having unprotected sex with probably gay men didn't contract HIV. <laughs> <laughs> These women. Didn't have a podcast. Come Sorry, on. I'm all for entertainment. I love having fun just like everybody else, but you have to respect the science. Did you watch uh, Guys We Fucked on Bill Maher? No. Oh my god. Wait, dude. they went on Bill Maher. Yes, it's you guys oh, gotta watch it. It is so awesome. <laughs> no. it is. He's retarded. But he's they're so like, stupid. He's like <laughs> love bombing. Yeah, I know what that is. <laughs> but what is it again? <laughs> like he's like trying. That's so where you hard. love saying a certain word. The and they try to cancel your show over you saying he, it. He like leans over and like slaps Christina like on the f- like he like goes out of his way to be like creepily touch her. It's mm-hmm. so bizarre. I, I actually uh, who books that show? <laughs> it's Ice like, Cube. It's like James Carville, it, Chris DiStefano, and it, his, his, <laughs> one, black, his one black All friend. Right, so Ice you're Cube. like Chrissy Chaos. What what the hell is that about? <laughs> What do you no, want? it's just an old guy trying to like make up for lost time of like falling sure. years behind the. No, I, I I asked yeah. Corinne. I was like, like, "How did this happen?" And people she was, don't it, like it when you just say a smug cunty point brain. as a joke anymore. What's comedy? What's going on? In the comedy uh, world? New rule: I'm funny and hot. So you have, to have sex Jokes with me. Jokes don't need punchlines. Yeah, I think he just. I think they just have a booker, and he just. And they just book. 
Yeah. I bet mm. if you haven't watched Club Random, which is like a truly they like hellish fucking yeah. show, if yeah, you've watched yeah, it, yeah. it, they're just like, oh, Bill Maher. Yeah, I've seen him on TV. And so he gets all these like big. He probably has like a legit like booker. I was trying who to reaches out to agents. The, I was trying to convince the Mr. Beast editor that I'm friends with to get Mr. Beast to go on the Adam Freeland show because he loves he loved Come Town. Mr. Beast did. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Beast loved Come Town. Okay. Yeah, because I I got like when I worked for them, I got like a lot of the people like Carl into watching it in the office, and then um I think he might have also Carl watched it independently, but like they all just started started circulating on an office and they started showing it to him, and he was like. Yeah, this is uh, this this is uh, goaded, and then uh. he just got really into that. But he, I don't think he would ever make an appearance on the show. I'm Mr. Beast. To I'm gonna give my dad a million dollars to be gay. I mean, if he's on Kill Tony, like a show where they literally say faggot, you should might as well do fucking the Adam Friedland show. Was he on Kill yeah. Tony? Yeah, he's boys with Kill Tony. Ugh. Yeah, God. the axes of evil are alive. I fucking dude. hate YouTube <laughs> and the evil, it's made the dark stars forces out of. Are massing, right. dude. They're I fucking for hate this team. Yeah, this is just like. Well, that's when you let the people decide who their stars. Yeah, can that's be, what I'm saying. Know? I think bring back the gatekeepers. Bring guys back, what the yeah. fuck people do not know what's good yeah god yeah. kill tony and mr beast oh that has like so many views too well that made all people involved like yeah. millions of dollars that one episode yeah it should... what does mr beast do he's just famous because he's famous uh it's just like a, a, a yeah he like puts like mice in his, cycle. in his pants yeah that's what he does <laughs> yeah he, no he does that to he's a writer like, I put 80 rats in my <laughs> yeah. pants and the 240 million views. I like yep. that all it's of YouTube is just like, Bam Margera it's now. Ju- it's like YouTube saved Jigsaw scenarios. Like we tied an intern yeah. to a train and we, we realized we can't tie an intern to a train. So we made an exact replica, 3D printed our, our intern Carl and tied him to a train. Now we're driving into a hole in the earth. This video, by the way, costed $5 million to make and we made $8 million on it. <laughs> and we'll make, yeah. yeah, I'll make all of our money back and then some. Yeah. Also, Jake Paul is fighting Mike Tyson this weekend. They, they spend as much money as they make. Like, the budget when I worked there was like two hundred thousand dollars a video, and I'm sure it's like exponentially just like tripled by that, like several. And thousand what percent. what did they spend the money on? Stupid stuff. Like there's like yeah. one where where like they, they ran over like eighty watermelons, and then okay. like they had to cut that video because like one of the black guys that worked on the channel like <laughs> did a fun bit where he just like went in front of the camera, was like, no. <laughs> 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 Why? All right, I like him again. Yeah, but no, but then Mr. Beast is like, we can't put that on the channel. We can't put that. Uh, get me in trouble. Is there a Mrs. Beast? Um, yeah, I, I feel like it's like. I mean, he's like a. But that's thing. I thought. I thought Donald Trump taught us that you don't get in trouble. Yeah, but that's if you're cool and funny. Mr. Beast isn't yeah, like it's for cool kids. or funny. It's like funny. For, he's it's, like a very awkward, like kind of borderline autistic guy. But mm-hmm. he understands computer algorithms. And Trump did like get into trouble. Level. He's like in fucking. Like they're taking all of his money right now and stuff. Yeah, Everything that they're doing to him is only just oh, winning him the black vote. They're taking all of his money and taking mug shots of him. <laughs> I know. You don't yeah. think he's gonna like get like a, a thousand percent increase in black vote. Yeah, sexy red's like, I support Donald Trump. Kodak Black's like, I hope he's president for fifty years. Yeah. That's like, damn, I've never seen so many black people love Donald Trump. Yeah, because they know what it's like when fucking G men don't want to see you shine. Yeah. yeah. When people don't want to see a winner yeah. win. Which mm-hmm. we predicted. Or you or you sent me that video way back yeah. uh, of him. You ain't got to like it, but the hood going to love it. And yep. it's just a bunch of black guys with Trump. Yep. <laughs> I told you. The minute they were like, we're going to start trying to pursue an indictment and like take him to court, I was like, you're going to dig your own grave with that one, pal. <laughs> uh, yeah. And you'd think they'd be able to, but nothing, nothing's happening. No, like, They're just waiting for him to go to pussies, court. Dude. Well, well no, they, actually, they, they got him on. They um, to assassinate people anymore. He's saying he doesn't have money for bail. Like they're they're like gonna take his they're gonna take his a, they're gonna seize his assets if he can't come up with like five hundred million dollars or something. Okay. So they could take. We gotta go to Trump Tower now, guys. Yeah. Does it, it have could to be, be gone. Does it have to be liquid five hundred million or it can be? In I think assets? It, they have to they have to have it in cash. I guess. Yeah, they can't do assets. That's what they were yeah, saying. That's the thing is that most rich people like all of their money is like. Yeah, it's all they, in the ads. Yeah, it's all like they, projected they value. They take out it's projected value because they pay for their lives by taking out business loans and then mm-hmm. they use their stocks as collateral and then take off loans to pay those loans. <laughs> so they're just using loans forever. That's to, what that's how Kanye went to like never pay income tax, basically. Kanye went to billionaire to homeless in like two days just because it was like all of his money was in Adidas. And once they cut that value, wow. Yeah, he was like, Oh, I guess I have like no money. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Man, one day you're on top of the world, the next day you you go, I love Hitler, and then <laughs> The, all your money's gone. <laughs> he actually said, I like Hitler for the record. He didn't. Okay. He never yeah, said he loved him. Okay. Yeah, we're, they're not on that strong of terms. I know. Right? I've, I'm trying to do a bit where I'm like, it's kind of like a lukewarm. Like who? <laughs> Hitler seems like a hate it or love it kind of guy. It's very funny to say, I like Hitler, actually. You know, not to run material, but. But yeah, I don't know. It's just, it. I mean, hey, man, that people hate a winner. 
I, I Con- yeah, he's back. He has his like first number one hits and stronger. That's what I was trying to talk about. Like when I was the nineteen, they put me on like because I was mean to people. They put me on a list, mm-hmm. and every other guy on the list was like a guy that had like groped or tried to like assault a woman. Oh <laughs> wow! In North Carolina. <laughs> oh yeah. And it's like all these like thirty, you were just forty mean. year old men, and yeah. then I was just a one mean nineteen year old kid on the list. <laughs> <laughs> like, no asterisk or anything next. No to asterisk. Yeah, or yeah. No, hey, like, can we get like yeah. a footnote or something here, gang? <laughs> can we prove that I was just mean to people? <laughs> that yeah. I was just a bully. Yeah. But well, yeah. it's hard the first few years of comedy because everybody's kind of fighting over scraps. You yeah. Know? So the world of comedy feels much smaller. Mm-hmm. And but then after after a while, you go, oh, there's no, there's so many, there's so many pigs out there who consume this crap. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't matter. I should be. There's room for everybody. Yeah, there is. It's more. Yeah, of the, I, I, hope I, so. I just got like annoyed when people were like, um, they would just say a thing that like wasn't true. Mm-hmm. Like this, like girl was like, yeah, they don't let like this is like good nights, and uh, they're like, yeah, they don't let any women of color or like women on the mic. It's all guys, and it's like the club was literally run by this lady named Brandy Brown, who's like a black woman, and like we they would do like a bi yearly, like uh, like twice a year, every um, six months they would do a meeting, and like every time in the meeting she was be like, by the way, there's a lot of white guys in comedy. If, if you want to come do the open mic and you're not that, I will put you up just by yeah. virtue of having some variety in the lineup. So please take advantage of that. <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, that's how we, like, we use the mic to audition for, like, weekends and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And it's like, all right, so they're just telling a lie. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. like, literally, it's like, no, institutionally, the industry is against us. It's like, the institution is literally run by one of you. Dalton said the funniest nice. thing about that. <laughs> right, he's like, right, right, right. Don, like, quote tweeted some, like, girl, and he was like, this is exactly the kind of girl who gets booked every single day and complains about how the world's against her for that being a really woman funny. in fucking yeah, comedy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid it's so true she's on every show and she complains about how i know hard it's it so game. hard to be it's like in the minute you say anything well actually can be kind of hard for a guy too it's like shut shut up yeah you're not on my team yeah um but yeah uh shit what are you two that's right why now? you just gotta you just gotta sh- keep your mouth shut and stack clips oh yeah bro. yeah, stack yeah. Clips in that bread stack man. those clips once this pontillo yeah, yeah, thing stack those drink tickets bro <laughs> yeah 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 man <laughs> stack shit. those guest spots yeah I remember um, <laughs> the bit I would do when I was underage, and I get they still give me drink tickets at the bar. So I would just go outside. And I would f- try to find a homeless person and be like, "Hey, these will get you a free drink at the bar." Really? <laughs> did say, it work? <laughs> yeah, dude, several okay. many times, like homeless guys would like shamble and be like, "They said I could get a drink in here," <laughs> and I would make sure they do it like while somebody I didn't like was on stage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I don't bet the bartender's like, well, he doesn't look that much worse than most of the open micers. And so. they like, they, they, yeah, are you the here for the mic? Year old <laughs> <Yeah>. on the <this laughs> show. <laughs> and then they're like, where's you getting these drink tickets? <laughs> Not from Where'd the guy. Where'd you get the drink tickets? From the booker or from like the person hosting. It was for yeah. shows. So like okay. I get a drink ticket for the yeah, show. Yeah. One month later, he's like, where's the bucket? I want to sign up. <laughs> <laughs> I heard Kill Tony's changing people's lives. <laughs> it's like, his name's Tony Hinchcliffe. Yeah, Mr. Kill, first they said name, if last I, name, Tony. They said if I had amputated legs, I could get on Kill Tony. I lost my legs to diabetes. <laughs> oh, my God. So, wait, are you going on the road and touring and stuff right now? Yeah, a little bit. How's that one-nighters going? One-nighters and stuff. What's that? Yeah. Yeah, one-nighters. I did a weekend. Well, I lined up some weekend stuff last weekend, and uh you know, put my special out this week, so nice. Yeah, I'm trying to focus on that. I'm trying to uh, get some donations from uh, people. Yeah, is the this special will, already this will out? Be, this will be out Thursday. Monday of next week. It comes out this Thursday. Okay, so it's out. Yeah, right so now. it's out right now. If it's you're watching, right nice, great timing. Um, yeah, yeah. No, I youtube.com slash. Knows what you filmed at the stand the while uh, ago, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I oh. sent some like friends of mine that aren't like huge comedy fans to that, and they went and they said you did great. Thanks. But then they're like, there's like, yeah, but there's this weird pedophile looking ball guy with glasses that open. And he's just, he's just oh, <laughs> talking about oh, Ian. Ian. They're like, yeah, his name's like Liam or something. I hated that guy. Oh, really? Yeah, they didn't like Ian. <laughs> what are you, all. a kid? You want to have sex later? <laughs> 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 That's yeah. funny. Why didn't they like Ian? Uh, they said he didn't like it. I think one of them got roped into crowd work or something. Oh, yeah. Like he can do real really mean. Like, yeah. He can do mean, like, front row. Yeah. Like, yeah, then, I've seen him do it. Yeah, I've seen him, like, I saw it. I, was, like, I feel like I've seen yeah. Ian do really well, but then you, when you look at his, like, clips, like, we were uh, making fun of him on Stavi's World recently because he had a clip, and the thumbnail just said, uh, I hate young people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <I was> like... <laughs> No, he he's like, like he's just these <laughs> kids try to tell me how to live my life. Ian's a funny guy that does well. He's just like has horrible business acumen where mm-hmm. he'll like be like, 
I'm making fun of communists, so I think I'm going to put that on Twitter. It's <laughs> I, me and Jeremiah okay, Watkins I, I making fun of communists. Why that. am I getting ratioed right now? I told this you to, had to save him. I remember watching that. <laughs> I, told this, <laughs> I told this to Ian because I was like, Ian, this clip is especially funny because you're in like a, an old suit. <laughs> he looks like a man he, at the end of coming, his robe. He was coming from a funeral, <laughs> yes, he said. He told yeah, me. That's the only suit that he owns, and it's brown. <laughs> it's brown. <laughs> yeah, he looked, he looked he like a looked, public <laughs> defender. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. He looked like he was in a local yeah, production yeah. of Glengarry Glen Ross. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. God, I hope the set goes good. I don't know what's going on right now. Oh, I didn't have any coffee. I've been crushing cigarettes, but they told me those were for closers. Hey, coffee's for closers. Fuck, I've been closing. I haven't been closing. I took the leads. Fuck. But I'm closing that those doors. Sit down in your chair, bigot. You're going to watch this stand up. Just... I loved, uh, I just rewatched Glenn I just think it's so funny, though, like, uh, doing a Manhattan club to, like, it's in Gramercy. So none of those people are communists. They're all yuppies yeah, they're all that work for they're the all terrorists, terrorists. And I'm sure it worked fine in the room. And it worked yeah. fine. And it yeah. probably killed. Oh, uh, you know what communism is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we can't do that two uh, episodes so, in a row. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, actually, if you, if you don't uh, laugh at my jokes, no, it's, uh, you've activated it's, him. Uh, <laughs> it's praxis. Uh, I was just doing this right. In, we did an episode right before this. And I was going, uh, um, yeah, so uh, it's actually like good to get a DUI. Um, did you see that tweet he did? No. Jake tweeted no. out that like, actually, um, if you, you kind of like have to get a DUI in most places because there's no public infrastructure. So, uh, uh, going up against uh, drunk driving is uh, classes. not it's classes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And our mutual friend Sam, online boy, like quote tweeted and was like, actually, if you have to drunk drive, you're an alcoholic. <laughs> 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 it was pretty funny. But yeah, I was like, that's... Uh, yeah, man, that's there should be different oh. BAV levels for DUIs because Asians have statistically less <laughs> alcohol tolerance. It's not a race thing. It's just being more inclusive of our... <laughs> uh, Pacific Islander friends and our PA piece. What is it called? What yeah, it's it called really itself? funny that you can be so words. far left. You can yeah. just uh, be conservative. any crime. Well, it's just like, you okay, know. my personal. Oh, beliefs. you can be so far left. You're right. <laughs> you're the left and the right are the same. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Like the right and the left are the same. Yeah. Like, yeah, leftist women or right right wing women, they both throw drinks at my face at the bar. <laughs> it's crazy how both women on the right and the left will... don't like being called a bitch. Yeah, they're actually fine oh. with my politics. They're so cute. Is that Ryan Long? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shout, shout out, out Ryan, Ryan. Long, friend of the show. <laughs> Not shout out Jake though. Uh, I worked with Jake for a little while at a bar. I like Jake. When I first moved here, I liked. It. I used to go to hilariously Jake and Ian's show. Like when I first moved in Clara Kane's show. When I first moved, I'll here. tell you this: I haven't even seen him do well. Yeah, he was funny when I first moved here. Yeah, I actually was like, yeah, I would go to their show, and Jake would actually always. I always thought did the best. Yeah. Then I watched him post a clip later. I was like, damn, did you just like de decline or something? I don't know. He's it on sucks. His He's on his own little journey. Well, you know, people, you have to make that choice between, like, whether you want to stick by your weird online politics. Not weird. Yeah, like, no, you know, I think that's what happens. That yeah, you're like, you what like... audience do I want to cultivate? Should I try to Should I try to go after people who, like, you know, have have families and want to come out and have a good time? <laughs> or should I, or like, should I try go after to... agoraphobic people, that like trans people that don't leave their house? Yeah, yeah. who have no sense of humor. Yeah, exactly. It, the one day they'll leave their house, if they come to my show, will have their arms folded the entire time, mm -hmm. and they'd have a much better time at like comedy. Well, bang, that's bang, to cover line. post ops cars, dude. No, oh, that's true. Yeah. I'm sorry. That was no, not. That's kind of transphobic. That was transphobic really of me. Don't yeah, I'm do sorry. That. I will walk out on the show. <laughs> I did see like a an ad for like it was like DSA dating night, like speed dating. I uh, those... talk about marks and uh, fucking. I, I'm I like, thought the DSA was cooked. I thought like after that like town hall meeting they had where they looked like absolutely the most retarded people in the world like that just kind of cooked them yeah i think their lot their their luster is lost it was very like it, it seemed very like desperate yeah, honestly it was literally like a More guy like being like slow dating yeah. <laughs> hey. instead of speed dating yeah yeah very true very true yeah um yeah voting on the spectrum it's voting <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it did seem like it kind of died with the Biden election, yeah. like the DSA stuff. Um, I don't want to vote for Biden because he's a supporter of the uh, war and conflict on Gaza. But honestly, though, anything is better than Trump. So I'm going to actually have to concede and vote for Biden, even <laughs> though he is a genocide. Around, around September, October, I'll, I'll probably vote for like him. You could have just <laughs> gone in the voting booth. You didn't have to tell me that, pal. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know. Like, the thing is, is like. Oh, congrats to Putin for winning the election. It was a, that was a nail biter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I heard he had a landslide victory. 89%, baby. <laughs> I saw videos of like people like numbers. going into the voting like <laughs> they have the voting booths and there was literally like military people like with guns like walking into like I'm like why even do this this is just so silly yeah it's like they catch two people having gay sex in there and like oh 
You voted oh, for, yeah. Okay. Keep going. Sorry. We thought you weren't, we thought you weren't voting. Putin, right? Yeah, we thought you weren't voting for Putin. That's my bad. <laughs> oh, I, Continue now, to fucking Now that I know you are voting twice, Putin. <laughs> we let it slide. We well, put Vladimir, we got the gay vault. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. <laughs> Good job. I don't know why I turned away from the camera to do the thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't know how to cheat out. That's fine. Yeah. This is all bad. very new for us. Yeah. Um, Bright lights, the big city. Big city. But yeah, what do we what, what do we even talk about anymore? It feels like uh, it's yeah. just it's just we've been talking about David Angelo and <laughs> politics from 2017. <laughs> There's like nothing left to say. Yeah, dude. Biden I think, made everything boring. I think we're yeah. old heads. Yeah. There's, no, this is a sign that we're unks now. Your yeah. father, he's an unk. I'm an unk. I'm an unk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Appreciate that. No problem. Appreciate that too. Uh, uh, I don't know. Just yeah. I mean, that's like about all there is. State of the Union. Do you watch Union. that? No. Mm. He was, damn it! Struck yeah. out. Well, yeah, he just said we. Well, <laughs> God damn it! So watching the State of the Union is like watching the Republican debate. Right. When people were watching that. It's like what, what? This is just a huge waste of time. This year's was very. Yeah, well, it was more. Yeah. People were like kind of watching to see if like Biden would have like a. Yeah, they thought he was going to stroke moment. out. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And he was actually he did a very, good job. very. Uh, Concise. They must have like fucking shot him up with so many drugs. <laughs> Sean Hannity was like, "He's jacked up, Joe." <laughs> like, <laughs> awesome, dude. Yeah. I love the spin. I love the spin machine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I guess we talk about Hamas. Like, if they're even bad. Yeah, honestly, I like it with even, like carrots even and, touched and, on, uh, yeah, and, and pretzels yeah. and pita chips, yeah, celery, pita chips. Uh, <laughs> yeah. non, a little bit of non. Non, that. that can be yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. cross cultural. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you guys I'm think Hamas? Do you think I'm Pakistani food or Indian food is better? Pakistani food because it has more meat in it. I agree. Indian food is a lot of heavy like masala and like uh, I'm Indian, but like I I like uh, Pakistani food. Where more. do you get Pakistani food? Indian restaurants. There's oh, a great yeah. India Pakistan, yeah, um, like a little circle, but in Gramercy. Most okay. of like I there's mean, just like four yeah. great. They're all India slash Pakistani food. Yeah, like okay. they they really. There's a good like, Afghan place in Astoria. Actually, the people that run those what's places, Nepalese food okay. like? Have you heard that? Have you had that? Uh, it's very similar. It's like when your dad's like, famous. It's yeah. <laughs> Please. There we go. He's ma- oh. no. Nepalese. Oh, okay. Cut cut his <laughs> cut his mic, folks. Okay. Cut his mic. All right. All right, I'll be taking that. <laughs> you know, sometimes if you just slow down, you find the better. Thing. You find yeah, better bits. I'm not forcing it. Yeah, I was you just, just kind of. No, I was. No, I thought that's what a, it was. If you have a fucking conversation. <laughs> You have an actual fucking human conversation. I'm trying. What are you talking about? I, that's what it is, right? It's like when your dad is famous. I'm not trying to suck off David Angela. <laughs> <laughs> he can't help me. I've already tried it. Yeah. <laughs> I was just telling you my favorite Ninja Turtle was. <laughs> No, but you were like, I hope he, I hope he, I hope he hears this. Well, yeah. I was like, he's the only one who's gonna get who that is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Besides you, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even know if you knew him, David. Yeah, yeah. We go way back. Yeah, no. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, that's the thing about well, Robbie go, is like, if he's ever on to something or like criticizing for me for something that's pretty valid and uh-huh. something bad I did, I can just like introduce two characters to combine and he'll forget whatever criticism he had of me. Okay. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's pretty nice. easy. Like yeah, like yeah, kill like, Tony about, Soprano. Yeah, yeah, kill Tony Soprano and then nope, he does it. But um uh, what's do you do you want to do some you want to do some kill Tony Soprano? I'll, oh I've already done it. <laughs> <laughs> we did it uh but if you want to try yeah yeah throw one no. out for me. Um all right. Um let's see. John Cena Riley. Oh hey everybody! Uh, I just killed Bin Laden. I don't know that much about John Cena. I'm now I'm now I'm embarrassed. Oh, now Give me another one. Give me another one. As a girl not knowing about wrestling. Yeah. Um, uh, how about yeah, Lindsay Loman, like Willie Loman. Who's Willie Loman? From Death of a Salesman. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. What does he sound like? Uh, I only saw the one where I only saw, saw the Malkovich. one where. Malkovich. See, there's no celebrities Lindsay, anymore, yeah. which is a problem. Yeah, that is a problem. Used to be. We used to have agreed upon celebrities. Yeah, but now they're all in of, jail. Well, that's what the Oscars yeah. were kind of fun. They they trotted out the last ones. It was all like mm-hmm. old white guys. It was like mm-hmm. fucking Schwarzenegger, DeVito, Pacino, De Niro, mm-hmm. like all mm-hmm. the guys that our parents liked, basically. Yeah. It was the best Oscars they've had in a while. Yeah. I guess Gosling is famous, right? Zendaya, Timmy Chalamet yeah. is big. Well, uh, what about Chinese Ryan Gosling? We'll do a come town one for you. Uh, Chinese Ryan Gosling? Yeah. What would that no, sound like? Ryan no. Dumpling. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan there Dumpling. you go. Ryan Goosling. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Goose Ring. Goss Ring. Goss Ring. Um, yeah, what were, we, what were we talking about? Nepalese food? Nepalese food. It's basically you the same thing care, as Pakistani Robbie. food. <laughs> you probably don't even eat Blood food. Curry, yeah. What the fuck are you talking You probably have freeze-dried <laughs> <laughs> food every, like, while you're watching uh, gas digital shows. <laughs> okay, I do not 
watch gas digital shows. Yeah. I watch fucking. I just watch basketball uh, video documentaries now. Oh, okay. I was down in Austin recently. Kinda, that's the thing like I did. Basketball. Yeah. Yeah, that's fun. Have you been down there yet? Um. Yeah, I went for like a like a night. Dude, it's pretty nightly recently. Yeah, like maybe a few months ago. Okay. Did you, what, did you go do the creek or something? I did Roscoe's. Ros- Roscoe's is actually pretty it fun. Yeah, room, it's a good yeah. time. Yeah. The creek's kind of fun, though, like with the hang, because like now mm. all Shane's people hang out there all the time. Mm. It made it a little bit better, but there's some like really. Yeah. Like, well, I, if Shane Gillis ever said hello to you, you have to move to Austin. Yeah, now. exactly. Dude, I, I swear, they all, they're all like, I'm going to move down to Austin and be best friends with Shane and then I'll get on Kill Tony. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's such a and thing. And that, like, that, like, yeah. that's, I've never, I was like at trying to sign up for Kill Tony just to see what it was like. And I've never been at a place that is in more of a need for a mass shooting. Then like <laughs> the kill Tony oh, yeah. sign up. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> it's like retarded people. There's a lot of them are high on mushrooms. And they'll just come up and like no volume control. Be like, mm-hmm. oh hey John, you signed up again this week? Yeah, it's my 88th time signing up. I hope I get on. It's like they flagged you. You're never getting on. Yeah. Yeah. And everyone's like, what oh. do they do? They just pick names at random and let people. Not at random. Dude. They do. Oh, okay, they like they pick... definitely. I've seen them like talk to the people that end up going up before the show even started. Mm-hmm. There's like two. There's like three people in a row that weren't there for when their names were being called. Mm-hmm. And then I saw him like on the third name, just look around, recognize a guy that's been on before and be like, hey, you've been on before. Come on. And it's wow. just like, hmm. it, it's, it's, uh, I mean, it's like a, it's a enterprise at this point. I'm sure that it had like integrity or something with the Well, they don't let the comics like, in before. the room anymore. So it's like. Well, yeah, that would be like an active shooter bomb threat, like <laughs> easily with the people that they've like now garnered. Well, well they're saying like Austin is going to be like the, is like a new comedy mecca. I'm like, no, no, it's just going to be full of comics who moved there for Joe Rogan. It's full of a lot which of are like the comics. worst comics that you could possibly think of. But that's the thing is that like they all kind of gunk each other. What's up. the if old comedy just... mecca? Here, New yeah. York, for sure. Yeah. No, I think it's mecca. Yeah, it's yeah. Mecca. What's the deal with Ramadan? I can't eat till sundown. What the fuck is this about? Does Allah really care? Oh, you ate lunch. Go to hell. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I hope they Allah smites the Zionist devil worshiping state of Israel. But mm. I think he that's likes Israel. Me. Actually, that's my hot take. That's I think hot Allah take. likes Israel. Oh, that yeah, would they suck. Seem to think <laughs> that. Yeah, he's yeah. like, what the fuck? What are you guys doing? I like it over <laughs> there. It's nice. Jews, they make out. They make funny shows. No, what the yeah. hell are you doing? No, yeah, no. Israel's the Shane Gillis fan that got said hello to once, and they're like, "I'm like God's favorite person." Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, no, God loves me. God loves told me. me all this is mine actually, and that I should uh, take over the mothership. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I hope I get killed. I, I hope I get the. Oh, I, I, I just got. I, I just got pulled for kill infidel. Yeah, I got kill infidel. <laughs> kill Zionist. Oh, kill oh Zionist. my God. Um, but have you noticed, like in other cities, like in New York, people don't really suck each other off that much. But at the other places that you go, they're all in a little bit of a circle jerk. They it depends. are to an extent. Smaller, like you can stay out of it, like and receive the. If you're just funny down there, Mike people receive. were like, uh, "What's that?" People will be nice to you if you're funny. <laughs> what did you down call there. me? Micro- you know, Jewish, you would be micro seat. Micro-seat. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I was just talking yeah. about. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> I did that what on would on Jewish the Robbie be. Uh, Robbie Good, it would just good be Rob, credit. Robbie, Robbie Goodman, good Robin, Rob, yeah, Robbie Rob good a credit. good man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rob a good, that's good. I do like how the fucking things on their head are called, literally called payas. Are they? Yeah, the, the, like the ear, cur- they're, those ear curl things are called payas. Mm. Eh. I don't know. Just, Why is it? Because that's what they say at the end of the month when you rent stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true. Yeah. Oh, Yamaka. <laughs> Uh, Yamaka Saunders. Yeah, Yamaka Saunders. I okay. can't stand Man, what's with all these the, people trying what's to. What's with all these white the boys? I hate all these state white of Israel. boys. <laughs> we we to went park to two my different... Toyota Sienna. All these brown Ahmed <laughs> guys think they got a beer line up so they can storm the wall and go over into the country music concert or whatever the fuck. Concert. It was actually what was it? Reggae concert? Yeah. These, Edi- no, EDM festival. These yeah, EDM boys festival. laid on they rent. Mm. All these boys laid on they rent. Just because you push motherfuckers down for 80 years, they think they can hit you back on some slick <laughs> shit. Acting all brand new just because they've been occupied. Yeah, let me get some of that boil of oil. It's going to last for like eight days. <laughs> there we go. Referencing another person that we're very close friends with and have worked yeah, I don't, so with. That's like, I Robbie don't, opens for you. I Yamanika don't know Yamanika right. Sounders and I will cop to that. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm not I named, named, when I was down Here's the thing, Mike. I'm not name dropping. I've just been around for a very long time and right. I know a lot of people who have gotten successful. Right, right. You mm-hmm. know? Uh, people just don't realize how long I've been. I've been doing this for like fucking since like 2009. So it's, it's been a long oh, yeah. It's been a while, yeah. Since Obama? That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Me too. 
cool. Yeah, I started in 2009 when I was 11. Really? No, I started in 2014. That's, you were like a child comedian? I was, one of the, I was the cute kid comedian. <laughs> What's the deal with bedtime? Yeah. But then I crossed Steve Harvey when I was doing America's but what, Got Talent. In 2009, you were like 16? I was 18. No. Mm, okay. Yeah, no, 17. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I was 11. Yeah, 17. Mm. Well, like the first time I did, I was in high school, but then I like started in college basically. But it was like, I was in college, so it was kind of like yeah, on okay. and off or whatever. Yeah, I was busy getting really good at Arkham games. I was also busy doing that too. Yeah. I spent about half my time playing Arkham City. Yeah. Which was great. When did you start comedy, Mike? 2006, I guess. 2006? Yeah. Okay, nice. What, about, what are you going to do about your kid with uh, video games and, like porn and stuff? Like, is there any way to like shelter video him? Video games and porn? Did you yeah. regret giving him like screen time? Same? Like, M rated. Are, are you going to like let him play like M rated games when he's like 10 or 11 or something? Yeah, probably. I mean, they'll find a way to do it. Yeah. You know? But uh, yeah, he watches a lot of YouTube shorts, which is funny. They're, uh, I, I think he's definitely getting brain damage. <laughs> yeah, they've given, they given me brain damage. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, my brain is fully formed. But he's, like, obsessed with it. Like, he just... What kind just of shorts? Like, what kind of things? Just, like... Like like a guy's head in the toilet <laughs> getting around to techno music. Mike. <laughs> wow, he has good taste. <laughs> but sometimes I need to cook dinner, so I'm like, I don't... Nothing's gonna hold his attention. I'm telling you, duct tape him to a wall. Yeah. He won't like not TV or like not Sesame Street or anything like that? Yeah, but then he'll, like, I, you know, he'll be like, I want YouTube. Yeah. So... Man... They guys by the ball. YouTube, not even He's TikTok. Gonna, you gotta be careful. He's gonna get the yeah. Fortnite accent. What? What's that's that? What guys like talk like this? And, uh, no, oh, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. that's pro- that's what happens when you play. That's too much what happens Fortnite. when you play too much Fortnite. You start talking like this. Yeah, mm-hmm. I just think the occupation of West Bank is a tragedy. I really <laughs> think that uh, you know we should will you start voting for more third party candidates because it, obviously dividing into two party systems is just not working. And Stephen A. Smith knows a lot about Fortnite for some reason, which is yeah, very he, funny. It's weird. He knows a lot about Fortnite, but then no like black media. Yeah, it'd and be by like, black media. I mean anime. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't know anything about Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, he didn't but know he's like, Vegeta. he's like the amazing thing about Fortnite was that the original skins were truly the greatest. I don't know what sport commentator this was, but like I saw this on my like my feed when I was brain rotting myself with like reels. There was like some guy being like, the "Problem is these females ain't in the kitchen anymore," and he just goes, he stops for a second, he's like, "We losing recipes." <laughs> <laughs> and just cuts to him like close up, like, "We losing recipes." <laughs> That's what Shannon Sharp said about they're like Anthony Edwards cannot be the, the cannot be the face of the league because what do we want? We need someone who's married. What do we want when we se- select the president? We want someone who's married and stable. And then like everyone just like looked Appreciate at that. him, and then they were just like, anyway, moving on. Who do we think the Celtics? Yeah, <laughs> but I have to say it is a little offensive how bad millennial women are at at cooking. Yeah, they like don't even try. They're like intentionally bad, like a level yeah. where like I couldn't try to be that bad at cooking. Yeah, my girlfriend's pretty good at cooking. She, I think millennial women can cook, but we're just in a major but she's city. A like no one cooks yeah. in New York, you know, because we I don't do. have big kit. You do every night. It's millennial every white night. women. There's a lot of yeah. listen. Latinos okay. will fix you a plate, brother. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dominicans as well. Dominican women, okay. yeah. Um, but I feel like in the suburbs, like women be cooking a little bit more, you know. It's just like the because the, the women who who move to New York are often like upwardly mobile yuppies, you know. Yeah, so they're just, working well, it's a just because like sex in the city taught them to emasculate uh, men mm-hmm. for yeah. like sexual pleasure. But like in small you know? towns in the Midwest, like they're still yeah. like getting married at like twenty three and like having kids at twenty seven and yeah. like cooking and cleaning. And I moved to the Midwest. Yeah, like the guy my Midwest. age is on yeah. his like second kid right now. He just had his short sure. that I went to school. Yeah, with. even me in the Bay Area, like I've like a, a few hometown friends just having kids and stuff, so mm-hmm. it's just cr- crazy. Yeah. And and the bear is like pretty. Like, yeah, but they're jealous of us because we get to <laughs> live our dreams. Yeah, because <laughs> but the problem is, is, like I know exactly what their life is, and I'm jealous. They like have this false idea of what my life is because mm. of an Instagram post I made in right. like, 2017. I know, but let them let them have it. I don't like lying yeah. to people. I'm like, to live I'm like the You're state of lying, Israel. Don't I don't like anything. lying to people. There's right. also a way to spin it where you it is like, oh, you know, you're, I'm. Yeah, I just ran into like high school friends who just had a kid or college friends who just had a kid, and you I just got... let them think what your life is. Yeah, like, you know, yeah. You, don't, or, you don't correct them. Well, so oh, you just take right. gratitude, and you know, yeah. doing doing comedy in New York is cool. You know, it is fun. So you just have to like kind of take gratitude in it, even though it's like awful in so many ways. It is like, you know, I asked my friends yeah. like back in Colorado, or my friends they're from Colorado. I was just asking, they're like the Rat Pack. <laughs> Didn't Brendan Schaub say that once? Yeah, he yeah I think so. He's because he was oh, mad that Rogan moved to Austin. He's like, we were like the new rat, pack. the rat. Pack. <laughs> what a he fun was, pull! He was bemoaning yeah. the fact that he couldn't go to the comedy store anymore. Not the not the dream team or like something more, at least a little bit closer, more relevant. The rat pack. The rat pack. 
That yeah. dude is like too Italian for his own. Good. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Just fuck? Imagine you go out like down to your dad's basement. He's got a he's got a painting of like Joe Rogan, Brendan Shaw. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all smoking cigars. Like, yeah. Yeah. dude, that and, is gonna be a generation of in dudes, like hunting though. suits mm, with like foxes. There's gonna be dudes horseback. with Shane Gillis paintings on their fucking man cave. A, a Shane Gillis oil <laughs> painting would go, go pretty hard though. Yeah. I, I would think I would, that's but fucking I'll one up gay, you, dude. Tom Tom Meyer's oil painting. Yeah. Oh, okay. But like people love like the people who love Rogan and Burt like love those guys. Like people like our fathers used to like love like Sinatra and stuff. Sure. No, my my dad. Because yeah. there's no there's no one for men anymore in popular culture except for podcasters. There's no one really for men anymore in popular culture. Yeah. We we'll got Theo. <laughs> Theo. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and so I, as much as I hate all that shit, yeah. which I do, I'm like, I know why this That's exists. That's so true. Because who's like, who's the last actor that you really liked? Like Gosling's the best one, and he's like yeah. very Pattinson, feminine. Gosling, you know, yeah. it's like they have to be like women approved for them to be big these right. days. You know, right? right. There's no there's Raleigh. No Charles come on, do some top surgery on me. I'm trying to be more like a girl and have a guy, girl fan base. Who's that? That's Theo. Oh, Theo. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the only guys, the only stars for for men anymore, like athletes. That's like it. Yeah, um, like in movies and music. Like, yeah, I, I don't. I it's like athletes, tell you. and then like Andrew Tate. That's what I'm like, yeah, <laughs> right, right. No, I'm saying Andrew Tate sucks, but he he came out of just the fact that there's just there's nothing no for dude. Yeah, models, there's no yeah. male, ain't no male role models no more, everybody. But luckily, wokeness is dead because Cindy Sweeney got her titties out. Yeah, I guess we we got to be the change we want to see in the world. I mean, literally, that's what it is. Instead of doing podcasts about David Angelo, we got to <laughs> we gotta find we gotta start thing. doing it. We got to get shredded and then like sell people. I'm fake telling supplements. you that yeah. David Angelo thing is gonna be a big hit. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone in the comments gonna be like, Robbie, that David Angelo <laughs> thing. I was really? laughing my ass off. Really. No, <laughs> no, no. I don't even think my fans know who he no, is. No, people are going to see that, and then they're going to watch the episode and be like, wow, Mike Fuggin owned Wobby that whole episode. <laughs> yeah, you can see Mike hates his friend Wobby. Yeah, literally. Like, that, that's I'm literally probably better friends say. with Mike Wasine than Wobby <laughs> yeah, is. Yeah, they're going to go on the, the Legion of Skanks Reddit. Mike Wasine completely cooked Wobby. I love yeah. when they get him out of the freaking well, scene. Well, well, well. Wobby <laughs> Goodwin coming out of the woodwork again, trying to desperately name Dwab comics. <laughs> Someone said that on Reddit. Reddit. Someone said that. They acted like a fucking uh, movie villain. They're like, oh, well, well, well. <laughs> I posted a clip on That's on reddit so I was like, well 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 mr goodwin i see you've made it out of the woodwork to name drop uh oh the clout chase or something shut I, up yeah like, shut the fuck dude, up dude yeah and i'll just get like comments that like are in reference to me like i'm like a married to a woman and it's cheating on me it's like wolfgang's gotta just he's gotta spread his wings he's gotta, <laughs> he's gotta cut loose from this thing he just started doing <laughs> i don't i don't see that though yeah. Yeah. It's just, no. It's just like these narratives. These guys. It's like uh, it's literally like they're they wrestling. They have to. They have to believe that. Yeah. Because yeah. they yeah. think they're in like our friend group. They think that they're like I'm Lewis's friend. And they think they're friends with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, people are pretty <laughs> ambivalent towards me. It's more of like people like insult Robbie and then like use me as a means to be like. It's a weird thing. <laughs> yeah. It's super weird. But I mean, I don't know. I think sometimes it's just like they're all those guys are like autistic wrestling fans, so they just pick a heel that they don't like. It's, but then they see you at Skankfest and be like, "Oh, Bobby, oh, it was, nice it was so nice to meet you." Yeah, him. it's honestly, you know what it is? It's like reality TV. Like uh, my sister met Spencer and Heidi, who like are like the villains of the hills of the time, who she hated, but she met them and she's like, "Oh my god, like I love you guys." Yeah, just because it's like the guy from TV, I recognize him or whatever, you know. And it's just like, okay, I'll. It's like people have no male role models. People have no yeah, male role models. Yeah. We should just be heels then. We should. It's not you know? fun. Yeah. It's not fun. I would. I mean, okay. the thing about being a heel that seems fun is that everyone knows you're doing yeah. it. They hate you because you're playing a character. Yeah. Right. Whereas, like, just being a guy that people hate on the internet is very, very, like, emotionally draining. Right. Get me that fake gun and a spot on the Adam Freeland show. I'll be your heel. Okay. I'll be, I'll be a heel. Uh, where are we at with the with the time? You know, like that's how you know that we're really cooking. Right, 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 right. <laughs> the time. No, check. I just got yeah, sad but, thinking know. about all the things people say about me on you the internet. You guys did an episode before, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, it's... well, I. Where are we at? Oh, that's great. All it's right, good. Cool. Uh, you got to change your Twitter notifications that to mm -hmm. let make sure they're following you to, for them to respond. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I like that. Although people actually have been very nice lately. Like people, yeah. like kind of. People, yeah. people flip flop. I feel like it's yeah, just honestly it, just it, when I like name search. That's when I like it. That's that's when I see the mean stuff. Honestly, yeah. But why, why do you do that to yourself? Because <sighs> I'm addicted to the internet. You're like, <laughs> I wonder if the, everyone's saying that Robbie is was really cool <laughs> and awesome. Yeah. Oh, the internet where people say no nice things. <laughs> it's just like, where people yeah, say yeah, nice yeah. things about you. What about you? Yeah. I feel like you've been getting. You had to like block not people but like keyword block things with like uh, being a supporter of you know 
liberating Palestine. There's been a lot of tattletales, but not really. No, I don't. Th- I don't. Or is know. that just that one club so. where somebody I think wrote being like pro a really Palestine is like yeah, but that club still like you know, you. They, well yeah because yeah, they yeah they I don't know yeah well what but like did you know that person was that person that is a fan or follower? No, like, I don't know. I don't know who they are. Oh. It's probably Rich Voss. He <laughs> probably hired someone on this guy. Got fucking fucking Mike is doing it. Is that it again? Let me fucking By the tell way, him. I'm six foot eight. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I just remember seeing that, and that made me like really vicariously mad because it's like, who, cares? what the fuck, who cares, dude? Yeah, but it's just kind of like what they, what they do. Is this people online? That I mean, that topic animates people on both sides, so oh. people are gonna try and like ruin others. You know, yeah. you know, stand up's not that special, but it is unique with like some of the stupid, annoying problems you have to deal with. It. I watched the uh, I read that list of like the zone of interest. It was like a bunch of uh, Jewish actors, directors, and producers who like signed a thing uh, protesting it or whatever. And I saw Michael Rappaport's name and he signed it. Michael Rappaport actor slash disruptor. Nice. That's a cool guy. <laughs> yeah, That's a cool guy. You know, it'd be the coolest thing if he just stormed What are you disrupting right now, the line like, at CVS yeah. to get your fucking herpes medicine? Yeah. The fucking drink orders at the stand. Yeah. Because you're yeah. <laughs> trying to hit a guy that's more successful <laughs> than you in comedy. Hey, yeah. what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. I'm glad I, I told know. him Dr. Doolittle too sucked. <laughs> that's good. I didn't he even did, know he was in To that. his face? Yeah, well, I was, I was, uh, he was judging, and I was on roast battle. I was okay. roast battling, yeah. Okay. The only thing I know him from is like Michael Crap a Michael I should have. <laughs> that would have been fun. Actually, that's in the crap. I'm, no, he said something much worse. Yeah. Um, yeah. Michael, Michael Rappaport with a W because he's got a rap sheet from fucking raping girls. How yeah, more like that? rape report. <laughs> yeah. Starring Michael. I don't know. Yeah, I remember. That's, I don't <laughs> Does know, he guys, really? Uh, I want it to be didn't true. he like yeah. beat no no, no he didn't. i don't think so no they only, wait no yeah so, i think that's when he what made him slap ari was ari was like didn't you like beat your wife oh is that Something what it was like that yeah yeah okay i just remember the slap but and it was about kobe no i think he i think ari was like didn't you i think mike was like hey what the fuck you think you're doing bro or you know i don't know Talk maybe about it was about kobe and oh, I think, maybe it was about kobe and yeah. then but then ari was like yeah but you like beat your wife right and so then he like slapped him or something which is a great, which is a bad defense yeah. <laughs> for being accused of domestic abuse is to uh, yeah. assault somebody. Yeah, you know, that's the funniest response you can do with com- in comedy. No, 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 that's, people. that's a real alien versus predator situation to me. Yeah, uh, <laughs> oh, I know you got your issue, but yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's annoying. But whatever. Yeah. They'll win. That was a pretty funny Kobe tweet until we found out that, you know. His, his daughter, daughter was also in the helicopter. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. But did yeah. he, he didn't know that before that? I don't think so. Maybe. Who knows? Yeah, he should have doubled down, though, when that came out and be like, well, he let his daughter fly. I think helicopter. he did. <laughs> I, I think he did double down <laughs> when yeah, people but, got mad but at him. But in like a joke way. Hinchcliffe, actually, I had a funny one, though. It was like Kobe passing. I can't believe it. That like, was that, funny. That, that was, was good. Funny. That was really that good. That was a good instance of joke, Mac. Mac I think, but that's out, not, but. see, that's more of like a joke. My thing with the with the Ari thing was just like, he was just trying to get people mad. Yeah, he was like rage Kobe. baiting. Yeah, he was rage yeah. bait, which is like. I don't know. I, I, feel, I feel like that's a very low skill kind of thing. I don't know. It's just annoying because it's like well, I was in North Carolina at the time. And like when you're in a smaller scene, you guys have all, you've done comedy in a bigger city. You've always done comedy in New York. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. It's a, in smaller places. When something like that happens, they'll like the, the scene will be like, we have to have a debrief, you know, because <laughs> we also face similar issues like this. is like there's five of us. No, we don't. Shut oh, up. Man. 2020 <laughs> sucked. It was just like every little thing got like poured over like that. Yeah, like because uh, everyone's like posting stuff from the beginning of the pandemic because it was about four years ago. Yeah, that's like how I got in trouble is the Dalia thing happened right before the pandemic. And then there were or, like during is during the pandemic, the Dalia thing happened. And they're like, we need to make a list of our problem problematic men in the scene. And I'm like, there's fucking, a few of those lists going around. Yeah. yeah. And I was just I don't know. Oh, in, in, uh, in North Carolina. In, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was on there by virtue of just being mean to people, I guess, or something. <laughs> you deserved it, though. No, um, I was being funny. <laughs> well, yeah, because they had, like, nine rapists on the list. Yeah. And they were like, we should round this out. Round this out yeah. with a... Yeah. We, we, really we, need, we really need a brown guy on here. We need here. a brown guy yeah, that's yeah. a very diversity hire for yeah. the rape list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, or we'll get canceled. Um, Who do we intensely dislike? <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, is like it, it got like it's posted and reattached to like my Facebook wall, and it like helped. It like fucked up getting a job out of college for me. Oh yeah, yeah. So it was like a then the pandemic probably. Yeah, everybody's working from home and stuff. I mean, it's it's years ago now, but that's I don't know. It's just fucking annoying. Somebody made a list once, and they were like, it was just like the names, and then they were like, 
these are the racists in the New York comedy community. Oh, Michael. <laughs> what did you get? Were you no, on I wasn't. No, no, they I was put not. Nathan Orton on that, though, I remember. I remember oh, that. Yeah. I remember that lit, which is very funny. It's like, why are they? Th- that guy was yeah. like, but it was like stupid. Every, like, a lot of them were kind of, I think Matt Marin was on there. Really? Because they just like took like, I don't know how they came. I think so. Something like that. Yeah. It was like a bunch of like very silly people were on that list. That was an interesting list. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but I remember. I, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> Who else was on it that we know? <sighs> that was Dave the only Smith. ones I remember. Dave, well, <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but Lewis wasn't on it, and he was like upset. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that that was funny. Sense. What the hell? <laughs> Another list I'm not on. <laughs> Did they put Mullen on it at all? No. Okay. No. I <laughs> I know like several Indian women that like know of Nick Mullen, not even from being like aware of Come Down or anything, just because he was like would go viral all the time for being mean to Indian women <laughs> online. Uh-huh. <laughs> to like that like so raw girl or whatever who used to like bully her. Oh yeah. And I don't know. It's very. Uh, I don't. Know. I remember he poses a Down syndrome girl back when I was in LA, and they like me tooed an improviser because the improviser was like like nick mullen like sent up like a a fake okay cupid profile as like a down syndrome oh, woman yeah, told me and this, this improv so guy funny. had to like move home i think his name was blake hogue i'm pretty sure and he like had to he was like they found and then nick on facebook like posted basically their exchange. it was like an exchange of a guy like he matches with this girl that like appears to have down syndrome so be like so when do your parents leave he's like <laughs> yeah. i like blocks and then it's just like continuing to not acknowledge is like i can be over around seven it's like it was really hot out today and things would like you guys that. say that nick mullen's one of your heroes and you worship him like a god uh no my only hero is cat williams and that's about it okay um and my mom he my actually was a big influence too. before i moved here i would say yeah. i was I, I like when i was listening to come town it like made me want to move to new york he's and i mean, when i got I here love his i comedy, met them and i like, liked them i don't know like i like had an experience interviewing like mark norman when i was like 19 wolfgang you love nick mullen don't <laughs> i mean no but like i don't, <laughs> don't like i don't like <laughs> idolize comics because it's like i don't know i just kind of like that was when i clicked it's like oh we're all kind of like losers it's fine i love i love his comedy but i'm not like he's my hero and i'll agree with whatever take he i'm more has. of a tom myers guy myself mm-hmm. yeah i just like i don't know i don't like the the level of sometimes hero worship people get where they're just like change their opinions to like Sure. Yeah. Be congruent with the guy they like. Yeah, I liked. I I did. I was a big Comptown fan yeah. before I even met, before I met those guys. Or even was in New York though, for sure. I met like yeah, but uh, but yeah, but then I met them and or, I I met all them through like the roast battle stuff, and mm-hmm. they were all really cool. Yeah, which was nice. It was nice that they weren't dickheads. Although Zar Nagarv is a comedy hero of mine. Although I don't know Adam at all. I haven't really met Adam at all. I've only I've only really met Stav and uh, and and Nick. Stav's huge now. He's like really famous. Yeah, yep, that's crazy. Like my 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 like cousin knows who he is. Same with Shane. Um, my like, uh, fucking. I went to like my aunt's house, and her like friend's boyfriend was like, "Do you know who Shane Gillis is?" I was just like, it was just so, it was really weird because mm-hmm. I like I like saw these people at, like the creek in the cave basement back yeah. in the day. Yeah, I was back know? home. And You're you know like what? friends with yeah. them. I'm not friends with any of them. I'm friendly with Shane, and I was yeah. before he was like. Uh, do you have his number in your phone? Shane? Yeah. I know you No, but I have Instagram DMs like. with him. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Your thing was hilarious, so I really like that. <laughs> that was pretty funny. What was that actually a number two? I never like checked to see. Um, it was supposed to be like a number of a scam call I got that day, but I like <laughs> messed up the number, so it ended up being It'd be like... funny if you gave out Deb's number on accident. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so the guy goes like, I love you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you want to hang out with me? Uh, I, I, I could get I could buy his beer. <laughs> Who the is this? Is, uh, nobody, nobody really cares or pays attention to anything. So I, I could have put my number on there. Someone yeah, put my would, number on the. Really someone put my number on the Legion of Skanks subreddit once, oh, yeah. and I got a bunch of calls for like a week, and then yeah. they stopped calling. Thankfully, a, I gave up my number on on guys we fucked one time. That's pretty cool. What and happened? I, a, I just got a few a few girls being like, "That was funny." And then one girl did send me a picture. Of her. That's not. There you go. There we yeah. go. That's great. Because she goes, she and goes, Mike, that's what she goes. Hey, I heard John guys we fucked. That was really funny. I go, oh, thanks. And then the There's next a picture photo of her ass. was her ass. God. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Girls just love a fatherly figure, dude. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty sick. That was like ten years ago. That's ten years ago. Oh yeah. wow. So this was like when you were like young. It's, I didn't know that. Yeah program was going on that long that's when it was like big i remember i heard yeah. about that i remember when they, back came, and they got big when they were like four podcasts what year was yeah. it i guess it's oh i like guess a lot of 14 2015 yeah. oh, shit. I guess when white of, woman feminism fuck, was at, was really so much time has gone by. are you that's sure right. it was 2015 
pretty sure 2016 maybe they they did come yes because i got in an argument about hillary clinton around that time no but i, th- I think it was 2013 2014 okay they, they came to my school money like oh when it when it got sure. popping when, when it, it when it came oh when it came out when it came out oh, oh yeah probably 2014 i'll bet yeah but it got like big it like really i remember they came to good nights when i was in school up in raleigh and like every mm. hot girl that ever went to my school was just at that show yeah and it was so alarming because Good Nights is like it was at least the old club was like it was either they booked every other weekend like a guy that has a late night credit and they like get twenty tickets sold or they yeah. booked a black comic from the nineties and it's just like it's a church parking lot out there yeah, dude, yeah and yeah. it's just full but like just having like th- there's never any women white women in that club like yeah that. right right yeah. but they were kind of the first podcast to to do that uh yeah they were the they were like the caller daddy kind of like the alpha to their omega a little yeah. bit. And yeah, the Marlon Brando. And it was yeah, they were the first podcast where they were like, we like to suck dick. <laughs> and yeah. I was like, what? Swearing in the yeah. title of a show? But I was saying like a lot of people have imitated that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got to it first for sure. Yeah. And I think also that was just like the first like pop feminism wave. Like, uh, you know, there's like a bunch of podcasts that were like, we're going to analyze Fight Club from a female perspective. And it would mm-hmm. get like fucking sell out clubs, you know, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Or, you know tons of money and stuff yeah, no, dude mm-hmm. girls need their own space so mm-hmm. they can leave us I, you I, just never know like what's going to be the next thing that kind of hits i do think that, like, that was it a... could be like it very well could be a podcast about david, david Andrews. Andrews. <laughs> <laughs> saw that one coming yep <laughs> it's crazy you had a robbie why'd you talk about that? me about 20 times on the same <laughs> podcast <laughs> He's like he's like trying to get laid when you guys get famous. Yeah, like, so I'm you know, uh, David Angel. I, I, I sell the these razors, episode. and I also no. am. A, <laughs> I've also been referenced by Mike Racine, <laughs> the guy they talk about in that podcast. I mean, yeah, I've been talked about famous podcast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you like libertarianism. <laughs> See, Mike. Usually, when something like this happens, there's a fake gun I wave around. To, oh, okay. To, to bring a stop to it. Nice. And we uh we we do inside references, or if I interrupt people, that's when the gun's brought out. <laughs> okay. This is the two uses of it. So like right now, it'd be pointed at my head. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, God, I had one more thing to say. Oh yeah, so yeah, you really don't know what the next thing will be. That was actually a good point though, because uh, we might be that like to... Lena Dunham feminism stuff completely mm-hmm. went away like two years later. I I think like almost Trump getting elected like. No, there's still a Lena lot Dunham of also lost that election. Been in comedy that, like, well, yeah, there's just York nothing to say to anymore. That. Nothing, yeah. nothing. There, the only thing that's left to say is go Hamas. Yeah, <laughs> there is. And, you know, whenever I wait tables, I really kind of, I, I kind of understand Hamas like on a deep level. When Do I'm you? like, yeah, because like, what is working in a restaurant but like having a bunch of rich people invade your space every day and mm-hmm. you just kind of like looking at them while you have to like deal with their bullshit and going mm-hmm. like, like in yeah. your head. You yeah, know? I like the Taliban more. I think. You do? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think so. They seem like they're more fun. That's because you're like into retro stuff. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a like child. I'm like a '90s kid. Yeah. I love the Taliban. Yeah, uh, yeah they got rid. They the, seem more strict though. They got rid of ch- the child pedophiles in Afghanistan. I like that. Yeah. yeah. And there's that guy like named. I'm also kidding. I'm being ironic. They're a very restrictive regime. But well, it's funny when you hear like you see like an interview with a senior Hamas guy, and he's like, "Yes, of course, we will do October 7th again and again." Yeah. It's like you're. We're trying to help you. We're trying to stick up for you. Stop, yeah. You're making it. It is funny hard. when they dress up in a suit. Yeah, it's like being <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, They're yeah. in a suit. And they're like, we actually do want to kill all the yeah. Jews. <laughs> we it's, want to slit like the throats. It's like being the lawyer for the Joker. Yeah. It's like he's rehabilitated. <laughs> stop, like, guys! I'm gonna stop. kill all the Jews, Batman. It's like I'm we are still to... in trial. Do you on, know what dude. it was like? It was. I'm a... trying to be provocative on. It was Alex Jones with Kanye. Like, and you don't actually hate Jewish people, right? And he was like, No, I like. I actually hate. They're gonna get keep getting fucked. But what's gonna happen? It won't happen in our life. Times, but one day there's going to be like some sort of like faux equity that they get and then generations later israeli kids will be pretending to be arab just like in america That's what I've heard yeah. yeah just like how japanese people love americans now yeah or palestinians will like get their liberation they'll have a state and then they'll start abusing whoever else and we'll be like the boomers we'll be like you don't understand what right. those people went that's through. That's hilarious. You know? yeah. Like we'll be like the historians or on that China, fucking China takes debate. over the world. It's like no more Israel. We are getting rid of countries we cannot pronounce. And yeah, yeah. They just ax them. Right. Palestine, Israel, both gone. <laughs> sure. What's their name? Islir. The funny <laughs> thing, the funniest thing to come out of it for me is like the people getting mad at Jerry uh, Seinfeld for being a, a like a Zionist, uh-huh. but then like also just a new wave of people realizing he's a pedophile. Yeah, <laughs> and you're like, wait, he had sex with a one year old girl? <laughs> yeah, legal in New York, and that's the show, folks. <laughs> That's where we're gonna end it. Robbie knowing a thing that upsets me that he knows. <laughs> Seventeen thirty-eight.
Um, is it 17 then? Yeah, yeah. in New York mm-hmm. it is. It, it's called Woody <laughs> Allen's Law. Yeah, 1738 yeah. though is a Fetty Wap song, and that was their age difference. Jerry was 38, she was 17. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Or is it, is it, it Fetty Wap? Yeah, Fetty Wap. Yeah. 1738. 1738. That is, and yeah. Uh, Actually, you guys aren't allowed to say Fetty Wap. <laughs> Only I'm allowed to say Fetty Wap. Yeah. Hey, I said, hey, what's up? Hello. My name was actually Betty Boop. Hey, yeah. Betty Boop. <laughs> All right. Oh, Fetty Wap's race. Do you guys have anything to plug? Special. My Go name senior. is Petty Wap. Petty Wap. <laughs> That's my rap name. The first Jewish Italian guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know, like, we went out. I'm I like, know my I'm wife doing... left the. <laughs> my wife loaded the dishwasher and didn't. Listen. Press the button. Yeah. No, like, Petty Wop's more like. Petty Wop's like, hey, oh, listen, I know s- I'm doing really good right now, but I'm going to Venmo you the exact amount you owe me for that sandwich I bought you. No, that's Penny Wop. Penny Wop? Uh, Petty Wop would be more like, did you see that she, she just wore at fucking anything? You know, like Petty, like a gay guy. Yeah. Um, Can you believe those Palestinians wanted to get baby formula for the kids? How embarrassing. How fucking embarrassing over here. All right, thank you, Mike. This was a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, you, have a sp- you had a special? That's My out? special's out on YouTube. You can watch yeah. it. It's called I'm Normal, and uh, I hope you yeah. watch it and enjoy it. You know, Watch it, leave a comment, hit smash the like if you if you can. That all helps me out. Yeah. And, and once, uh, yeah, I just hope you like it. I spent <laughs> eight years on I'm it. I'm excited for it, genuinely. <laughs> yeah, me too. Show yeah, show you're, uh, I loved seeing you walk those that table of black yeah. people at that <laughs> fucking show that we did. Well, uh, the one at St. Mark's Comedy Club. Oh, that was hilarious! It was great. You were yeah, you were yeah, being yeah, really yeah. funny. Is any yeah. when uh, we did here, um, and I, you let me do the guest spot? Is any of that going to be in the special? Or is that all new stuff you're working on? You're doing here? Um, that's all like yeah, pretty much new. Okay, a, I just did a couple bits from that. So, nice. but you did that. Yeah. So at that St. Mark show, you uh, you you've, you've seen my act, Wolfgang. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but you're gonna you're not gonna see anything new. Yeah, but it's still special. like it'll still be good to be able to send it to people and be like, "This is a guy I like," and they'll be like, "Oh shit, yeah, yeah. check him out." Oh, thanks. Which, by the way, I will be opening for Mike. Um, if any of my like friends from high school are watching this, still supporting the Wolf Gang, uh, June second, I'll be back in show. We're doing another six p.m. show at the Comedy yep, Zone. Yeah, another brunch <laughs> show for the girlies. Yeah, it'll um, be nice to talk to the one Legion fan that comes out and he's <laughs> like, you know, yeah. I don't think I actually like Mullen, dude. I don't think I can see that at all. Uh, I uh, but yeah, you did that joke where you're like. Uh, I hope my kid. I don't want to burn it, so I'll just. We were talking about. You hope you, your kid is. Well, it was like I hope my kid, if he's gay, I hope he tells me so I don't, you know, teach him how to do straight stuff too early. And then like, the, the table of black people were just like, yeah. <laughs> like left. And then uh, you did another joke, and then you're like, hey, anyone knows how those black people all just left? Do you think it was all that gay stuff I said? <laughs> it was so funny. I mean, yeah, you never know why someone's leaving the room. Yeah, but, but it could be because yeah. Cause they could just have to go to the bathroom or they got a text. That's right, right, they right. But they could hate the thing you've dedicated your life to. <laughs> they, could, they could hate your dream. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so this week, or this or next week, I'll be in Boston visiting my mom. But I'll also be doing Boston Comedy Club on the 6th and 7th and some other fun little dates. So check me out on social media at Robbie Goodwin for that. And Patreon. Doc- What's Boston Comedy Club? Is that a new it, one? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, oh, okay. I mean, I've heard it. I've heard good things. It's okay. a- uh, they, it's like the same concept almost as Don't Tell. They have like sat- they have like satellite locations. Okay. They do yeah. shows and produce it at, but it's not a physical location. Yeah, yeah. No, I think it's at the Silver Tone. No, they've been moving it around. Like they used to have okay. like a Sunday show at Modern Pastry that was good, but then they got rid of that one. Too. Okay, like, okay. And then there's like Duck Duck Goose, which is like I think they have a space. Yeah, all these comedy companies are happening now, which is very <sighs> funny. Um, but I'm excited for those shows. I think they'll be a lot of fun. Oh yeah, uh, but and so check out at Robbie Goodwin and uh, Patreon. What about Rob? And where can they find David Angelo? Uh, I'm David Angelo on Twitter and Instagram. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> if you want to see him talk, uh, really yeah, please it- follow David Angelo and Dan Wicks. <laughs> Actually, put this at the beginning of the show. Before before today's episode, you're gonna want to follow, familiarize yourself with David Angelo. You're gonna need to brush Dan, up on the lore. And Dan Wicks, yeah, it's really gonna yeah, pay yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. It's really you gonna trust me. You're gonna it's need gonna so you're gonna funny. need the companion. I'm and then so I can't wait for a text from Dan. Dan Were you talking shit about me? I heard you guys maybe. You also need to look up me. Maddie Smith to know a little bit of the Dan Smith. Uh, <laughs> Dan Wicks lore, mm, right? And yeah, then right. the circle will be complete, and that joke's gonna hit for you. Right, that's where he caught it from. I heard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, see you guys. <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs>